Well, I can't just deactivate them. Or maybe I can. Alright. I can. I thought I was going to have to contain something. Only my joy. Pran mixing shit up. Ah! That was kind of a weak kick. Hello. Okay, you guys got it? All right. Okay, that should clear the way. I like that sh I like the shotgun racking sound. It's preposterous, but I like it. It's like why why it's an energy shotgun. Why do I need to rack ammo, but that's neither here nor there. Hey, I can't blow my way through that door. Oh, but I can just waltz through this one. Fine, we'll go the boring way. Kill the targ handlers first. They will keep spawning these guys. Ugh. They will keep spawning these guys until you do. Early on, they are annoying, especially in fleet actions. In fleet actions, they can spell death because they will keep spawning reinforcements. So take them out. So, um, somebody asked, uh, why I use the RPG controls, or if I just use them. The answer is, I just use the RPG controls. Uh, the reason is because I, it's just tighter. Like, it's tighter controlled. You know, I can do whatever I want with these controls whenever I want, and I don't need to worry about having to toggle, having to, uh, toggle some selection of abilities. There is the occasional non-responsiveness, like what just happened now with the secondary fire. It's usually always the secondary fire. Um, the secondary fire is always somewhat sluggish sometimes. Always somewhat sluggish sometimes. Yeah. What tense is that? Um, it's sometimes very sluggish. And, uh, these guys are beginning to actually pose a threat to me. Albeit not much of one. But still a threat nonetheless. As you probably saw from my shields going down. That's gonna be happening. More and more. Especially in the Romulan arc. Jesus, in the Romulan arc. God damn. The sec... Do you mind? I'm scanning here. So, the munitions officers... Uh, 
the munitions officers are also going to be a threat to you on the earlier levels because they carry heavy shit. Incredibly heavy shit. They will kick your ass if you are not prepared for them. Particularly now. Uh, I'm making this look easy, but trust me, your first time through, it's not going to be this easy. So, there's going to be a Dahar Master. No, there's going to be a Klingon Captain who's going to pour it in. No. Didn't want to do that. And again, this is a, again, full-size runabout. I don't know why they made the runabout full-size, but not the Type 8 shuttlecraft. The Type 8 shuttlecraft looks like a TARDIS, uh, from how big it is inside and outside, but whatever. So here we're going to have more people wearing old uniforms, or at least they were the last time. I don't know if they're randomly generated. They're randomly generated. This is a modern Starfleet officer. And it says he's Klingon, but he's wearing a Starfleet uniform, so I assume he, he may have defected from the Klingon Empire. So yeah, these NPCs are randomly generated. Last time I went through here, I was playing with somebody who was under, below my level, and, uh... Yeah. It turned me into some kind of stew. It was with somebody below my level, and they were all in, like original series uniforms and whatnot. It was crazy. It's about time you showed up. The captain was talking about feeding me to his targs before he left. Captain Erthog beat me, beamed back to his ship to confer with his crew, but he could be back any minute. He's the only one who knows the key for the shield generator's code sequencer. You'll have to defeat him and his guards to get it. Hello, Captain. Huh. So you'll notice that this guy ten takes a bit of damage even now. I, I didn't, I couldn't kill him immediately. He still died, but I didn't do it immediately. So take that to. Uh, take that as to mean he will be tough the first time you go through. Quite tough, in fact. Um, in fact, the captain-level enemies have essentially become bosses, is what Cryptic was going for with the uh, ground, new ground combat. I'm just placing up a bunch of items I left. Is that scale? I'm not sure now. I know there... There seem to be runabouts of various size. There was a runabout in the in a mission coming up. I think Task Force Hippocrates, which is full, which is full scale. But I think it's a fair bit bigger than this one. In fact, I know it's bigger than this one. So no, this one isn't full scale. But the one in Task Force Hippocrates, Hippocrates, I'm fairly certain might be. Because I know runabouts are big. They gotta, they have to be big enough for you to basically crawl through the underside of them because uh, they're miniature starships, and they do have full, full-size Jeffries tubes. They show that in uh, one of the DS9 episodes. Uh, disable force field. Thank you, Vice Admiral. Why did the Klingons capture you? My former employer and I had a falling out. I wanted to end our association, and he wanted to kill me. I left Kronos with his bully boys hot on my heels. I thought I could shake them, shake them before you got here, but Captain Earthhog was more persistent than I expected. Who did you work for on Kronos? A sadistic piece of targ done called Bavat. Do you believe the Klingons call him an ambassador? The only diplomacy Bavat's ever used was, has been the business end of a disruptor. What do you know about Ambassador Bavat? He is crazy. Bavat is obsessed with keeping this war going. He'll do anything to keep the Klingons and the Federation at one another's throats. You'd better not. Thank you. Ah, <laughs> 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 oh, failure. You'd better not. Drop. I thought they fixed that with this morning's patch. He's smart and he's a planner. Wheels within wheels. 
He has half a dozen things going on, and I barely know the half of it. Ancient weapons, time travel, outlawed science. If there's a way to get what he wants, Bavat will do it. Things normal people wouldn't even consider, Bavat has already thought of and figured out how to make it work. How do you know... What do you know about the Klingons' war plans? No way. I'm grateful to you for the rescue and all, but I won't talk about that to anyone but Starfleet Intelligence. What I know is my ticket to a comfortable life on a planet far away from the fighting. I wonder what Casperia Prime is like this time of year. Are you ready to leave? Yes! Let's get out of here before the rest of them start to wonder what happened to Captain Earthog. With Marta. Beam to ship! Alright, I'm wondering if there's a if there's a space rumble. And I'm going to keep wondering, it seems, because it's taking forever to load. Whee! Okay. Yeah, there's going to be a space fight. Thirst for revenge! Do you think you can defeat Captain Earthog and then slink away, you honorless Federation Patak? The crew of the IKS Sarpek shall have our vengeance! Okay. Done! Autonomous Regeneration Sequencer. You had no chance. We did it, Captain! Marta has been scanned in sickbay. Once we return to Sector Space, we can hand her over to Starfleet Intelligence for questioning. Alright, a job well done. Let's get out of here. So, we killed a bunch of Klingons and got a ton of intelligence on one of the Klingons' t highest ranking officials. Smoke him if you got him. Treasure Trading Station. Hail Starfleet. Starfleet Intelligence is interviewing Marta now. She could have intelligence key to our war efforts. Good work, Vice Admiral. Uh, Frackin' Undine. Fracking salamander. Alright. So that was Treasure Trading Station. Let's go ahead and get rid of this stuff. Uh, I can get rid of this stuff later. That was Treasure Trading Station. Next up is Task Force Hippocrates. I believe Task Force Hippocrates? Yeah. It should be Task Force Hippocrates. Uh, if not, I guess we'll find out. And after that is Secret Orders. Secret Orders. So, yeah, it's Task for... There's only... There are, like, five missions left in the Klingon campaign. This is why I started doing two a week, because I really wanted to book it through the Klingon campaign, because I was... I felt like I was taking too long. I want to get to the good stuff, and we got a lot of stuff to go through before we get to the... Uh, to the really awesome stuff. Although, we will start to see Cryptic having a little bit of fun with the game engine in the Romulan campaign. But before we get to the Romulan campaign, we've still got the rest of the Klingon arc to do, and we've got the Breen episodes to do. The first of which will probably be a bear to record, because it's a very en it's an area that is full of NPCs. And when you start fighting in there, it's going to chug a little bit. i got to find a way around that. But, um... Justin Bieber? Uh... But there's a there's there's a player somewhere in here called Justin Bieber. There you are, Justin Bieber, USS Brooklyn. Let's have a look at you. A Vulcan named Justin Bieber. Okay. A lot of people don't like Justin Bieber. I think he reminds me of Steve from Code Veronica. So. Make of that what you will, is what he looks... He does. He looks like Steve from Code Veronica. I don't have good memories of Steve from Code Veronica, so... Uh, 
So what's left in the Klingon campaign, though? We've got next is Task Force Hippocrates, then we have Secret Orders, then there's the Ultimate Klingon, and then there's... What the hell? City on the Edge of Never... Uh, past Imperfect, and the Doomsday Device. Doomsday Device is, again, a remastered episode, and I'm bo I'm booking it as, as fast as I can to it, because Doomsday Device is a really, really good indication of what this game could be uh, if Cryptic ever puts out new content. This summer's been a drought. I'm sorry. I know I'm being, I'm being really negative, but this summer has been a really big drought of content. Uh, we were supposed to have the Borg Deep Space Encounters, we were supposed to have the Duty Officer System, and it's looking like August is going to be another dry month, because there is nothing on the calendar. And I just had to get it out. I just, ha I just had to say something about that, because the moment I saw the, cal the way the calendar looked for August, I felt like a pit in my stomach. It was like, ah, you know? <sighs> so... But that was we've still got we've still got plenty of content to go through though. So that was Treasure Trading Station. Like already like playing playing all the story missions in this game is already going to be a daunting task. So uh, that was Treasure Trading Station. Next up is Task Force Hippocrates, and I will see you guys later. So later.